Well, when I was very young, my mother, I was about four then, I suppose, three or four, and uh, my mother told me I was not allowed to leave the front yard of the house. She had to go run next door or something for something, uh, which she didn't tell me about. I would have remembered <laughs> if she would have. Uh, when she came back, of course, I was gone. And when I got home, she got angry. Logical. And I, she says, why did you leave the yard? You weren't allowed to. And I said, oh, no, no, no. I said, hey, look at this. So I took her out into the yard, and there was a rock. And underneath the rock was a little piece of paper with the letter U on it. You did not leave the yard. <laughs> okay, that's not bad for that age. It was a little bit of a handful. But anyway, on the validation thing, I've done some things that everybody in the world does. Yes, everyone. The When I was starting out, uh, I just gone, when I decided that university wasn't for me, I, I had one year of it and that was enough. And, uh, I decided to get a job, and I went up into the Yukon. Cold up there. <laughs> they had a picture of the thermometer the year before I arrived. It was minus 89.9 degrees below zero. <laughs> so that was even colder than they even tell you on the news. Anyway, I went there for winter, and I froze my feet, and I remember what uh, President Kennedy had said he was worried because they were building the dew line then. And he was worried about their soldiers freezing their feet up there, or their hands. And uh, he says, come up with a, a way of doing this, uh, solving this. And I know the Russians at the time were, uh, were advocating putting the guys in bed with a naked, uh, very big woman. Because the women have a lot more heat than guys do logical. But, no, no, that didn't suit me. Anyway, I did something stupid and I got my feet frozen. And at minus 40 or 50 below zero, which it was at that night, I made it back to the, I was working at a mine. I made it back to the dry, the mine. And I put them under the hottest water I could stand. And that was against uh, medical opinion at the time. Medical opinion was you put your feet or your hands under very cold water, you know, thaw them out very slowly. And I decided no, because the answer, the problem there is that uh, the uh, the part of your body that's frozen will, uh, how do you put, it, will have ice in the veins, and the ice when it starts moving again will uh, destroy the tissue. You bleed throughout your whole body, throughout your whole area, whatever it is, the foot of your hand. In the end, it's bleeding. Uh, the bleeding will cause gangrene, and you'll have to have it sawn off. <laughs> so I said, no, no, not me. Uh, so, and the maid of mine actually had his feet sawn off the week before for the same thing. So I said, not me. So. Uh, I put them under very hot water, the hottest I could stand. I see my feet. I'm still walking on them. Not a problem. And they were so frozen that you couldn't dent my feet with a fingernail. And you can put tons of pressure on your fingernail. That's it's colossal. The doctor there wrote it up. And uh, now everybody does it. <laughs> You see, you can make a difference. Pick your fights and never give up. But in that, that case, the fight was already won. <laughs> but, however, that is my introduction to this creating things. I've done a few creations. I invented the, the 3D measuring wheel. It does it uh, in three dimensions. You know, it gives you a cubic measure. 
and it costs half the price of a normal wheel. And it used to be a third of the price, but you know, with inflation and whatnot, and uh, yes, it's about half now. <laughs> Bad. 